Welcome to the Wonders History Podcast, and this is just a quick update and Christmas message. Uh, I'll talk a bit about what's coming up next, what episodes, plans for the series, mini-series we've got. Before that, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already, because it helps the channel a lot, so thank you a lot in advance for that. 2021 has been a decent year for the podcast, both here and on Twitter. We have continued the Rulers and Monarchs of the 16th Century uh, series. I've talked about Charles V, a bit more in detail about that, Philip II of Spain, Francis I of France, Holy Roman Emperors Ferdinand I and Maximilian II. And finally, the integrated current miniseries looking at some of the most important doges in 16th century Venetian history. So Doge uh, Loredan, Andrea Gritti, and the following episode will be actually be a combination of histories of uh, Doges Girolamo Priuli, Pietro Loredan, uh, Alvise Mocenigo, Sebastiano Veniero, who have also talked about in the Admirals of the 16th century Mediterranean series and uh, his role at Lepanto. So make sure to check uh, that episode out. This will tie in nicely with the first series, which uh, I've looked at Venice, uh, Cyprus, the fir- fourth Ottoman Venetian War, 1570-1573, and the impact the rules of the aforementioned uh, four doges had on this war and the aftermath. Most likely that episode will come at the beginning of next year, uh, maybe after Christmas in the period between Christmas and the New Year, but uh, we'll see about that. This year I've done a few tier list uh, episodes, videos. They're, they were quite interesting. I've adapted uh, Proust's uh, questionnaire for historians, which I thought was that, that was quite nice, and I think I'm going to uh, edit and readapt it and improve it with time. Um, I wish I had a bit more time to work on a few other unreleased projects. As I've said before, I'm very keen to start an interview series with uh, local historians, academics, but the pandemic has made things quite difficult at the beginning of the year, and it's looking again like things are getting a bit more uh, complicated, unfortunately. So we'll see what can be done in 2022. Hopefully things improve then. As for new episodes of the current series, the Rulers and Monarchs of the 16th Century Mediterranean one uh, and Europe, I'll continue and I'm looking forward to focus a lot on some of the most important popes of the 16th century. So Julius II, Leo X, Clement VII, and so many more others will be discussed in this uh, mini-series. I'm very happy to revisit it's a, it's a fantastic uh, source, Kenneth Seton's Papacy and the Levant. There are four volumes on that. I've always uh, come back to volume uh, four in, in particular. There will be other episodes. I'm thinking about a long essay episode to explain why I find the 16th century and its history in Europe mainly uh, to be fascinating, but also how important it is to contextualize and um, make the connections clear with the 17th uh, century because that is also there there's there are trends when it comes to uh, warfare like a military revolution there are some um, climate change events which start to occur in the 16th century but they're obvious uh, much clearer in the 17th uh, sec- century i uh, recommend Professor Geoffrey Parker's book on um, war, catastrophe, and climate change. It's a very good source that the name of that book is Global Crisis. In terms of more long-term projects, I think I will start to do something related to the 30 Years War. I'm actually looking at the moment at a, it's an independent project looking at Scots and early modern Transylvania. And uh, it, w- it was also that most of the 30 Years War was my basically my special subject in the fourth year of my undergrad. So it's a subject that I'm very, very interested in. So yes, we've, I'm hoping to be able to finally do the interviews, a few new untitled projects. I'm tempted to write a multi-part episode on the 1606-07 Venetian interdict and tie it in with the wider discussion of 
the decline of the Venetian Republic, when it started, how it manifested, and even like what counts as the decline of a kingdom or a republic in the 16th century or more broadly in the early modern period, because it is a very uh, complex issue, many shades to it. So there are plenty of ideas and uh, started projects. I just need more time, hopefully next year, uh, if work also allows it. But uh, do not worry, the podcast will, of course, uh, continue. It's just a matter of how many uh, episodes I am able to write, produce. Just It's just myself who does basically everything. The research, the writing, the editing, the posting, the social media, pretty much everything. A one-man operation. So I would like to thank every, every single one of my listeners. Your support means a lot. Maybe by the end of next year, we'll get over to over a thousand subscribers on YouTube, which would be amazing. Thanks to all the listeners on uh, Spotify podcasts, Apple podcasts, uh, all of Stitcher, all of the uh, podcasting platforms. Your support is amazing and I'm very grateful for it. Make sure again to subscribe if you can, if this is on YouTube uh, to the channel. I wish everyone a happy, safe Christmas, festive period, a happy new year. Uh, Take care, look after yourselves, and in the meantime, all the best.